Hey you! Today I'm going to share all of the things I picked up during the Sephora savings event. Sephora only messed up one thing and they fixed it and they're resending it. It'll be here, but it'll be here in over a week. You know when the Sephora sale happens, shipping gets crazy. That's why my video is so late going up because I ordered the day of that the sale started. And I am Rouge. So you know we had a couple of days um, before the general public they call it um and I just got my stuff so I'm here now to share it all with you if you see anything in today's video that you really want to see a review on or anything full face of all the new stuff let me know comment down below let's get into it shall we I got some really good recommendations from you guys over on my Instagram so thank you so much when the sale started, I was sharing lots of my stories of recommendations and, you know, all the things. So I picked up a good amount of your recommendations. So if you see any, thank you. <laughs> all right. So I did go a little concealer. I don't want to say concealer crazy, but I'm excited about the concealers that I picked up. <laughs> it's a product I'm always using. It's a product I'm always going through. And it's a product I always want to try and find the next best. <laughs> so that was something I got a good amount of recommendations from you guys. Let's start off with this one from Cali Ray. This is the Hideaway Brightening Under Eye Color Corrector. This is a clean hydrating serum concealer. Yes, give me all the serum goodness, please. <laughs> I really like the brand Cali Ray. I My favorite product from them, or what do we call in it now, the hero products these days, is the setting spray. This is really, really good. It's got a great mister on it. Set your makeup in place. It doesn't go anywhere. This is some good stuff. So I've also tried their skin tint and all of the products that I've tried from Cali Ray so far, I've really, really liked. It's glass packaging and I picked it up in the color Glow Rays. Bright eyes in a bottle, smoothing lightweight hydration and color correcting magic. I would love a good color corrector, but I feel like some of these products you can use as color corrector and concealer. So that's sort of kind of the plan with this one. It feels very thin and lightweight, like a true serum texture. No heavy fragrance. It's Cali Ray. It's supposed to be a clean brand. Another recommendation from you guys is this one from Natasha Denona. High Glam Concealer. This is brightening, hydrating, crease-proof serum concealer. Okay. And then this is another one I believe is uh, like color correcting options and then concealing options. I don't know what I how I picked this one, but I picked P7 packaging. It's nice. Nice little doe foot. Ooh, that's pigmented. It's pretty lightweight too. Another one where the texture is nice and light. I'm excited to try this one too. Okay, one more concealer. I have more, but just one more and then we'll get into the other things that I picked up. So this is a new concealer. I haven't tried anything from this brand other than a brush, and I love that brush. It's Say. This is the Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. I got in the shade number 12. I love a good brightening, so I went with a lighter shade. Packaging looks like this. Pretty nice. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be nice and brightening. That is a lot brighter than I thought it was. It kind of reminds me of my Laura Mercier, the color. I use this, this is what I'm wearing today. It looks really bright, but once you blend it in and you know you do the rest of your makeup, it comes together really nicely. So I do like brightening concealers. You know, Mo is not shy when it comes to mixing and making little makeup cocktails. <laughs> We've got one right here. <laughs> I would totally mix these together. And now that they're kind of sort of drying down, you can really see their finish is a bit better. Okay. I picked up the new Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. I do have the other one. This one. Let me show you how it looks. <laughs> I do use it. <laughs> the formula on this palette, it's nice. It's not like anything I'm sure many of us have ever experienced. It's a very unique type of palette. It's a big palette. I think it's worth it because it's something that you have a lot of versatility in. So when she came out with this color story, I was so excited. Oh, 
packaged really nice. Nice full size mirror. And look at this color story. Oh my goodness. I love my pinks so much, but this is more like a pink burgundy and then just some browns. Beautiful color story overall. Um, so one section is like your putty and the other smaller little sliver is powder. These stay put, these wear really well, and they're easy to work with. It's a beautiful concept. I had to get this. I'm so excited to create looks with it. This you can use on the face, on the eyes, on the lips, eyebrows, whatever you want. That's the best part. Another product that I was just so excited when it first came out, but I didn't get it. I waited because I was being good. I was busy. Life was keeping me busy. <laughs> Westman Atelier picked up one of their new actual lipsticks. I own all of the lipsticks in the little pots. So they now have like an actual lipstick in a bullet form. So here it is. It is the Lip Suede Matte Lipstick. I know. I've really been trying a lot of matte lipsticks this year. You guys have said, wow, wow, it's a little impressive. You're picking up all these matte lipsticks. <laughs> so here is the packaging. It's very Westman Atelier, yes. I have here the shade Rue. Beautiful luxe feeling type of packaging. I don't find this to be bulky. I f it's very Westman Atelier. I feel like if she did like a traditional lipstick bullet, we would not... I don't know. It just This just goes with Westman Atelier. And under the cap is a cute little mirror. It's small, but it'll do the job. You know, let's say you have a really small purse, a little clutch, and you're out and you don't want to carry like a whole shebang. This will, will get you through it. You'll be able to apply a lipstick. Take a look at these beautiful details. <laughs> That's what I love most about Westman Atelier. There we go. Shade Rue. And here's a little mirror in the cap. So I told myself that during the sale I wanted to pick up a new mascara. I have been really just kind of using the same mascaras. I right now am using my... I forever use this. This is from Chantecaille. This has peptides and serums to help your lashes grow. This is something I will always have, always have on hand, blah, blah, blah. The one I've really been going in with and using the most is this one from Valentino. I really, really like it. But, you know, it's getting time where it's time to replace it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pick up a new mascara. So I chose this one. It's from Givenchy. It's the, it's the Couture Volume Mascara. A 24-hour volume mascara with triple XL length and care. What kind of care? Infused with care ingredients. What kind of care? <laughs> Anyways, got that mascara. Look at the packaging. It's very Givenchy, you know. Very bougie, Givenchy, we love it. Let's see what the wand looks like. Yeah, I remember now. This is why I picked this one, because there's so many mascaras to try, but this is why I picked this one, because this wand. The wand looks promising, plus the claims, so we'll see. I got a new Patrick Ta blush. I only have one of his other blushes, but this is like a new color. This feels like it's going to be like your perfect everyday, you know, easy blush color. So I had to. <laughs> I got it in the shade Not Too Much. See, the name right there is telling you, hey, it's not going to be too much. It's going to be perfect for every day. And this is from one of his uh, newer color launches that he recently did. So, you know, your nice Patrick Ta packaging, which, yes, I still think it reminds me of Tom Ford. <laughs> but up top you have a cream and down below you have your powder. So look, this is a very soft color story. This is going to be nice for your easy everyday. And the swatches on the darker skin tones is what helped me pick it because I wasn't sure. I felt like, oh no, maybe that's going to be super light. But the swatches, the swatches look like it'll work on my skin tone. So we'll see. Another blush. I just had to. I mean, yeah. I am, I have another one in the cart. I think I'm going to order, <sighs> but I don't know. What a beauty. This is the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. I got it in the shade Love. It's a darker of, of the shades, this is a darker one. Look, it comes in a little plastic. Okay. This is supposed to be like a combination of the highlighters and the liquid blushes. I really like the liquid blushes, so I was excited to try this. Now everyone has been saying that you need to be, you know, a little careful with these because of how they're baked and their formula is just really soft. Ooh, look at that. 
Look how luminous and glowy this is. Wow. Should we try this? Okay, I, I'm gonna try it with this brush. <laughs> this is my Hermes brush. I don't want it to be too much. Oh my gosh, that's nice and pigmented. This is one of those products, it's like a two for one. You're getting a highlight and a blush all in one. So I love multifunctional products. So, ooh, the glow on the skin. Okay. This is glowy, but beautiful. Ooh, I'm definitely getting another color. <laughs> definitely gonna get another color. Yeah, that's pretty. You could definitely get carried away with this. <laughs> I think this would look nice on like a no makeup day. It'll definitely allow your skin to look like you did way more than you did. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm glad I got that. All right, so another concealer. This one is from Lancome. This is the Tinted Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, Multitasking Concealer with up to 24 hour comfort and wear. So this is like a full coverage concealer. Here's the packaging. I tell you, I have not tried a lot of products from Lancome. Ooh, wow, that is a big applicator. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is a little dark for me. You can tell this is some good coverage. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. You know I had to do it. I love Hourglass. I've been enjoying my Hourglass products. I've been dabbling just a little bit more into the brand. The Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. It's not powder foundation, it's a pressed powder. But I picked it up. I have it in the shade Translucent Tan. Here's what she looks like. Really pretty packaging, very Hourglass. Comes with a little puff. And here is Translucent Tan. I'm excited to try this. I'll do a dedicated video to this because it deserves it. Hourglass powder products are just so beautiful. Something like this, I want to be able to wear it on a skin day. I want to be able to wear it on a just a little concealer day. And I want to be able to use it when I have a full face dusting a little powder. I'm happy I picked this up. And I'm excited to share a dedicated video all about it with you very soon. I have a skincare recommendation that I picked up. This one is from Lancome. This is a serum and everyone is going on and on and on about how just, just, just makes your skin look amazing. And I want my skin to feel and look amazing, so yes. <laughs> skincare is something that you have to use for a while to really know if it's working, but ooh, wow, look at that packaging. Okay. This is an highlight, so this is hyaluronic acid. C plus niacinamide, ferulic acid. I didn't do that much research on this. It was a recommendation. I was like, oh, okay, so I'll put it in the cart. <laughs> so, I will be trying this and we will see. I'll update you in a favorites. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Have you seen the commercials for this? I think they're so funny. Everyone deserves one. Big lip plump gasm. <laughs> So this is the Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. Super size and maximize. So this is pretty much like a lip plumper with color and a gloss. That's what I, yeah. I love lip plumpers because they smooth the lines in my lips. Um, so I am excited to try this. They came out with two shades and I got it in the lighter of the two. So it is, what is it? Pillow Talk Fair Medium. Dish one. Oh, wow. Packaging is really nice, babe. It's big. Let's swatch it. I'm gonna remove what's on my lip and see if it burns. This is gonna burn. My lip combo today, I'm using the Hourglass Lip Liner in Candid and then the Tom Ford Slim Lipstick in shade 150. Open Back, I think it's called. I'm gonna take that off really quick because we need to try the Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. My lips are so dry. So this is supposed to burn. I think it's supposed to burn. We'll find out, we'll see. Mm-hmm, okay, I'm already feeling a tingle. Okay. That's a pretty color too. The darker color is nice. I might have to get it. 
Let's see how I like this. <laughs> ah, okay. Ooh. It's not overly intense, but you can feel it. <laughs> You'll be okay, but you feel it. Mm -hmm. Now, there was one thing Sephora messed up. They did not include one of my products. I ordered the, this thing. The new Forever Glow Star Filter Multi-Use Complexion Enhancer Booster. <laughs> this is what is supposed to be comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this one, it's right up here because I use it all the time. This one. I'm curious. So, of course, I ordered it. And that's the only thing that Sephora messed up in my order this time. I did contact them. They're sending that out over. So, I did get that. But I also got three of the Forever Glow Maximizers. So, these are multi-use glowy highlighting products that you can use on your face and your eyes. So, I have three colors. I have Nude, which I believe is the newest color. Rosy and Peachy. So, let's swatch all of these. Do I think Dior makes beautiful products. And if you can get a little discount on them. Yeah. So these are the three shades that I got. Nude, rosy, and peach. Peachy. So this is, so this is the newest one, nude. So I'm gonna do a heavy swatch. And I'll do like a little blended swatch. I have an entire Dior order with like the new blushes and eyeshadows and stuff. I'm going to do like a dedicated Dior video. I need to. So that was nude. Next is peachy. Those are similar. Nude and peachy is a little similar. It's just like a little bit of a difference with the undertone, but not much. One is a little more champagne. The other one is a little tiny splash pinker and then this one is rosy this was my first choice because <laughs> it's pink and I, you know i love pink very glowy very pretty these are gonna look gorgeous on the face so the nude the peachy and the rosy my lips are still burning but it's very bearable but i like the way it looks i'm not getting red because usually whenever I use a lip plumper or products like that, my the outside of my lips get so red. It kind of looks weird. But this is looking pretty good so far. <laughs> All right, next product is from Natasha Denona. Hypernatural face palette. So this is a eye and cheek everything. All in one in this palette. I was a little nervous and reluctant about this one. But I don't know. It's just something about this convenience idea that I just always want. <laughs> so I had to pick it up. Packaging is nice, it's slim. You do have the little holes back here so you can pop out your shadows if you wanna move them around or put them somewhere else, you can. But here she is. So you've got bronzers, blush, and then eyeshadows. These are supposed to be like your one and dons, fluff them on the lid and go. And the way that they're described is pretty much as such. So you've got an everyday color, a dreamy color, a statement color. So it's your bold one, the soft one, and then your casual. I'm curious how these bronzy tones are going to look on me. My idea was just to fluff them all together and use them, use them on the eyes. I think Natasha said the lighter shades for darker skin tones you could use to brighten. Yes, I think she should have done two options like she did with the other face palette. I don't know what the thought process behind the creation of this was, but I still want to try it. So I picked it up. Gucci. Hey, Gucci gang. <laughs> I'm a Gucci girl. I love my Gucci products. So this is new, but not the newest. It's like it didn't come out yesterday, but I hadn't tried it. So here we go. This is a Gucci gloss. It's the Plumping, Smoothing, and Moisturizing Lip Gloss. I got it in the shade Suzanne, Suzanne? Suzanne Brown, number 118. Eee, look, 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 it's so pretty. Let's see. Okay. I have to try it. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the Charlotte Tilbury. Definitely plumped my lips. I think we'll be able to see it now when I'm taking it off. I did like the color a lot too. Yeah. 
And again, the perimeter of my lip is not like red. A lot of lip haunters do that to me because it's burning. <laughs> Your lip is having a literal reaction. It's not sticky. That's a plus. It's a pretty color too. It's just a touch of color. I'm not feeling a tingle yet, but my lips were already still tingly. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury. That Charlotte Tilbury is strong. I don't know if I want the other one. I'm a little nervous. I feel like it's gonna be too much. Let's move on. <laughs> I picked this up from Makeup by Mario. This is his newest palette. I only have one of his other palettes. The, uh, I'm gonna put the, it put it up here I forgot the name <laughs> it's so pretty that's a nice everyday palette this is the master mattes the neutrals I love this color story I don't have the other color story um with his other palette that's like this because I have the Patrick Ta but ee, look at this color this is this is so basic in the way that you are going to use this and the heck out of it all the time. These colors, these type of colors do that to you. I absolutely had to get this. This is, I'm so excited for this. Obviously I haven't tried it, but I've heard that this formula is creamier than the previous one that's more of a warm color story. But the one eyeshadow palette that I have from Makeup by Mario, I really like it. I have another concealer, surprise, surprise. <laughs> This one is from Rare Beauty. It's the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I have it in the shade 430W. This is a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into the skin for undetectable cake-free coverage. Yeah, I'll take it. Here is what she looks like. Let's swatch it. Do I have room? I better make room. Hang on. Okay, look at the doe foot. That's a cool shape. So here is the Rare Beauty. Okay. It smells like concealer. Yes. And my last concealer. <laughs> I told you I got a lot of concealers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six concealers. Another great recommendation from you guys. All of the concealers were recommendations except for the Cali Ray. The Cali Ray I picked up because I like Cali Ray and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. So this is the Fenty. This is the Wear Even Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. I got it in the shade 385W. Packaging looks like that. There is the Doe. It looks like a little shoe. <laughs> And we're gonna swatch you right here. That's nice. That is nice. Smoothing, blurring for a second skin finish. Glide on to conceal, disguise, and disguise all over. So that is the Fenty right there. I got a nice color selection for my concealers. I can use them to color correct. I can use them to spot conceal. I can use them to brighten. I like this. This color story of concealers is why I love concealers. Because <laughs> I can mix, I can match, I can do all the things. Yes, please, and thank you. I did get some base makeup. I got this from NARS. This is the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting powder. Like the hourglass, this is not a foundation powder, but in my eyes, I want to be able to use it on my no makeup days, light makeup days, full makeup days, set my under eye makeup days. <laughs> Here's what the packaging looks like. I love how thin and nice NARS packaging, we all know, is that nice soft packaging. And I have it in the shade High Tide. So this is a soft matte advanced perfecting powder looks really good those are all my goodies that i picked up during the sephora savings event you gotta tell me comment down below what you picked up 
I didn't share like my restock products, which included my Augustinus Botter. I buy this every sale, like the boring products. I have a few of those. And then like the things I repurchased for my daughters, I, I skip those, but I, I'm very excited about the products that I picked up and I'm excited once my uh, Dior filter thingy that was missing from my order gets here too. Can't wait to try everything, test everything out and share it with you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and allowing me to share the goodies I picked up during the sale. Comment below and share what you picked up during the sale. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.